So think about that because photographers, if they are going to stay over, they traditionally like an individual bedroom or just two people in a bedroom as opposed to the big bug house. Um, gourmet food. This really, really brings people in. Fine wine brings people in. So if I can say, you are not going to believe the food that you're going to get at this place, then the people are really going to enjoy it. So if you happen to like to cook or you have somebody that's willing to cater, then you can bring in. You can, this is added value, some new things that you can add to your properties. Transportation to and from the airport, or is this a hunting lodge feel? What's unique? What can you bring that makes, once again, you step aside just a little bit more? So, so then you start thinking about, okay, what are my unique things? I've got my crested caracara, I've got my rattlesnakes. You will not believe how gaga people go over rattlesnakes. And if you can get somebody there with a snake hook and you can get that rattlesnake to rear up, I mean, you will have people just going nuts over their rattlesnake pictures. And this is, you know, so I've even had ranch owners call me and say, okay, we've got two snakes ready for you. And it's like, cool, I hate rattlesnakes. But if I've got somebody there handling it and taking care of that rattlesnake, my people will just go nuts knowing that they're going to get some rattlesnakes. And so, you know, you've got your historic homestead that we're going to be able to photograph. It's a working ranch. Think about what's unique to your ranch and how you're going to be able to market that. And that's your ranch experience. So now you can think about, this is my ranch. This is what I do better than anybody else. We've got photo blinds. But this is my ranch. This is my ranch experience. And that makes me feel good bringing people to a ranch saying, this is what I'm going to be able to offer you. We're going to go behind those gates, and you're going to get to see that. And that's, that's what's really, really cool. That makes me excited. So to partner or to non-partner, now what I mean by that is that you can partner with some of the workshop leaders around the country. And so, you know, for instance, I do it, Larry Ditto and McAllen does it, Kathy and Gordon Ilg who are here do it. There's a whole bunch of us who do this. And so you can partner with these workshop leaders, and then you can court those workshop leaders and then ask them to bring people. Or you can go simply by yourself and try to get people just through your website and through your advertising. And then you would get those day people or those people who are coming down with three friends or those people who are coming down with four friends or something like that. So there's two different ways that you can do it, or you can combine those to do them all the way. There are other places also, like Rocky Mountain School of Photography and Santa Fe Photography Workshops, the Great American Photography Workshops. Look through any camera magazine. Just pick up a camera magazine, especially outdoor photographer. Start flipping through the ads, and you'll see who are the workshop leaders, and you'll see who are the photo schools around the country that would be willing to come in and lead a workshop in your property if you've got the right facilities. So reasons to, 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 um, to partner with somebody like one of the schools or with somebody like me is that we have the professional expertise, and so we can go ahead and bring those people in. We have a con contact list. I have 1,354 people right now on my contact list, and I'm regularly in touch with all those people. I can pull together a group of photographers, so you don't have to worry about that. I know the subject matter, and so I can tell people what they're supposed to see and that type of stuff. And then I can also arrange all the details. And so those are those people emailing me about, you know, should I, should I wear my uh, hiking boots or my sandals or should I bring my 500 lens or my 300 lens, things that you may not know, at, especially in the beginning. The nice thing about partnering with somebody else is that I can answer all those questions. Or do I bring my blue jeans or do I bring my trop tropical weight pants, you know, that type of stuff, little type of stuff that you might not know. Positives of partnering is that you get the expertise in the, in the subject matter. We work with clients so that you don't have to do it. We make all the travel arrangements, for instance. We, um, we also carry insurance. It's there in the event of a disaster. If something major happens, you've got somebody else there to help you out with it. And then we can handle all those pre-trip details like dietary requirements. You know, I'm a vegetarian, and I thought I was a picky eater, at, but it turns out I'm not picky at all. You ought to see some of these dietary requirements of these people. And so we've got to pass those along. They can't have this. They can't have that. They need this. They need that. So think, and then also sometimes special accommodations. So the, the workshop leader like me would know that we've got somebody with an artificial hip and they're going to need a little bit more accommod, you know, getting in and out or that type of stuff. So we can, we can work out a whole lot of those details. To me, that seems like the easiest way to do because you're working with somebody else who can also be a, a, a partner on this thing instead of you doing it yourself. What we want for you is I want you to, I want you to deliver what you advertise. So if you say you've got photo blinds and you, if you say you've got photo subjects, then I want, I want good photo blinds. 
I want them to look like they're supposed to look. Many times I can't make a pre-trip down to a location. I'm just trusting. And so what I'm hoping for is that it's as advertised. I went to a ranch a couple of years ago, and luckily just to shoot for an afternoon, they took me out to the photo blind, and the photo blind was a box covered with a netting material placed in the middle of a field full of guinea grass or something like that, and it had a bird feeder on a stake right in front of it. And I just walked out there, and I've just driven nine hours, and I said, that's it? And they said, yeah. And it's like, you know, who wants, first of all, who wants to sit in the middle of guinea grass for the next four hours in a box with nothing coming there? There wasn't anything. And so, you know, you got to have what we deliver. Meals, if meals are offered, even if people are staying in a hotel off property and lunch is being offered, then that helps a great deal because then we don't have to bring food and that type of stuff. Lodging, either prop on property or off property. But, uh, uh, Blasita was talking about partnering with the, the chambers so that you can get the, um, the local hotels. That's cool if you don't want to have people staying on your property. But just whatever, whatever is advertised that when we get there, it's exactly like we're expecting it. What I want from you also is promotion. I want a good website. I want a website that shows lots of birds that assure people that if I say you all have got crested caracara, that you all have got crested caracara, or if you all have got white-collared seed eaters or whatever it is, then we've got it. So a website really helps out. Um, you know, work with me. Yield, bend. Let's, let's make this thing successful because my name's on the, you know, the bottom line just like your name is on the bottom line trying to make these people happy. Um, Plan, planning with me throughout so that we're talking back and forth about what needs to be done or emailing. And then if there are any problems that we're in there working together, not pointing fingers at each other. And usually that's exactly what happens when we get onto a ranch is we're all in there together. We're trying to make this a successful situation. Reasons not to, pro not to partner is you get all the profits from it. And so um, you know, we're, we're baseline charging people about $125 a day to come onto the property, each individual person. That can go up to $150 a day depending on, on what kind of um, access you're giving them to. So we're looking at $125, $150 a day per person. Reasons not to partner if you are a photo expert or you have somebody in your family who is a photo expert. That's what's happened with Hardy Jackson, for instance, down um, in the Rio Grande Valley. He, one of the sons, turned out to be a photography expert. And so he can do that. And he can lead people and he can help people out. And then also you get to keep your clients. And so you would be developing your own individual client base of photographers or nature tourisms coming in. Partnering with others, there are other people that you can partner with to get that expertise and to help out. And so we've got the Lens and Lands group, for instance. The camera clubs, you go on the internet and you can get a list of every camera club in Texas and you can market individually to those camera clubs. My friend in North Carolina that I told you has his property booked every single weekend full of, for the photo blinds, that's what he's doing in a lot of ways, is he's connected with the camera clubs. These are their weekend field trips, is down to his location. So the camera clubs are coming in on Friday night, staying in the hotel, shooting all day Saturday, half day Sunday, and then leaving. So there's lots of cameras throughout Texas. Botanical gardens also have groups, state parks, national parks. And so just, you know, the friends groups, every wildlife refuge has a friends group. Those people are very active. The Master Naturalist Program and the Master Gardeners Program, the North American Butterfly Association is very active. So any of these organizations that have field trips, like one-day field trips or two-day field trips, and this gives you an opportunity to partner with those organizations.